This is the introduction to read and write for the Macintosh. I've already installed the software, so I'm going to come to the Launchpad, find the icon for read and write go, open it. When it opens up, it usually will place this bar somewhere on the screen. And if you've opened it up before and had it in a location like here at the top, it will automatically go there. The first thing I want to talk about is how the bar actually looks to you. You can right click and change it from icon and text to icon only, text only, or both. And you can change the size. There are several different toolbars that you can use. This one currently is the research toolbar. You can see all the toolbars under this menu item called mode. If I change it to study skills, it's just these icons. And if I want to change anything on the study skills, I can edit that by right clicking the toolbar, selecting customize toolbar, and then if I want to take the icons off this toolbar, I can drag them down here. And if I want to add them back, I can click and drag back up. So if you want to make an edit to the toolbar, you just change which icons are on this up to the toolbar, such as taking SpeechMaker and dragging and dropping that on the toolbar. When you're finished, you click Done. You will then see the icon is on your toolbar. This happens to be the study skills bar. It now has SpeechMaker.